Hello, everybody. Just wanted to congratulate the uh, recipients of the Honor Roll certificates and uh, other awards for the 2019-2020 year. It's been a bit uh, different since uh, we broke up for the summer, but we're doing extremely well. I'm very proud of all of you. Your academic work uh, continues to, uh, to excel, and uh, we're looking forward to a bright future. I know that might be a bit tough right now, but uh, I'm sure that it's around the corner for us. So congratulations to all the award winners. Remember, you have a responsibility uh, to those who might need your help here because some of them are good kids, well, all of them are good kids who are working hard and need uh, your inspiration and your assistance on occasion to, to do a little better. So love you all, congratulations, and be well. Thank you. Students have earned an honor roll award for their academic achievement at the end of grade 7 in June 2020 with an overall average between 80 and 89%. students have earned an honor roll with distinction award for the academic achievement at the end of their grade 7 year in June 2020 with an overall average at or above 90%.
of introducing the top three award winners um, for grade seven in the 2019-2020 school year. These uh, top recipients have worked extremely hard. They have been diligent in their academics and as such, they have earned the top three averages for their grade level here at Crestwood Preparatory College. Congratulations and well done. The following students have earned an honor roll award for their academic achievement at the end of grade eight, June 2020, with an overall average between 80 and 89%. Crestwood, it's great to be here today uh, to be part of this year's uh, award ceremonies. Um, I would like today to present to you the following students who have earned an honor roll with distinction award for their work in grade eight uh, in June 2020. Uh, they had an overall average of 90% or above. And here they are.
Here are the top three students based on overall academic averages at the end of grade eight in June 2020. have earned an honor roll award for their academic achievement by the end of grade nine in June 2020 with an overall average of 80% to 89%.
students have earned an Honor Roll with Distinction Award for their academic achievement at the end of Grade 9 in June 2020 with an overall average at or above 90%. Here are the top three students based on overall academic averages at the end of grade nine in June 2020. following students have earned an honor roll award for their academic achievement at the end of grade 10 in June 2020 with an overall average between 80 and 89%. Congratulations.
students have earned an honor roll with distinction award for their academic achievement at the end of grade 10 in June 2020 with an overall average at or above 90%. Here are the top three students based on overall academic averages at the end of grade 10 in June of 2020. Good evening. I am Mrs. Santamero, and I am thrilled to announce that the following students have earned an honor roll award for their academic achievement at the end of grade 11 in June 2020, with an overall average between 80 and 89%. Congratulations to all.
folks, or good afternoon or good day, depending on where you are. I just want to say congratulations to all the cool jazz cats who have made it this far. The following students have earned an honor roll with Distinction Award for their academic achievement. This means that in June 2020, they had an overall average at or above 90%. And again, congratulations to all the grade 11s this year. Here are your top three students based on cumulative overall average at the end of grade 11 in June 2020. Hello everyone, it's Jeff Mitz here, and I'm delighted to announce this year's recipients of the University of Rochester High School Awards. There are four awards. I will uh, read each one out individually with the criteria and then announce uh, this year's recipient. So the first award is the Bosch and Lam Honorary Science Award, and this would have been voted on by our science department here at Crestwood. And it's awarded every year to the student in grade 11 uh, who has high achievement and uh, shown rigor in science and math classes and has also contributed positively to his or her school and within the larger community. And this year's recipient is Aries Wang.
The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award, which would have been voted on by our social science teachers here at Crestwood. This year's recipient would have demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues, shown leadership and dedication in community action, and also have strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. And that would be in grade 11, and this year's recipient is Catherine Tunz. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award, which was voted on by our Crestwood guidance teachers. And this is awarded every year to the individual who at Crestwood has shown strong leadership experience at school and in the community, has high grades and taken challenging courses, and also has extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. And this year's recipient is Ella Rival. Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology, which was voted on by our technology teachers here at Crestwood. It's given to the student who has shown strong interest in innovation and or information technology at a high level of achievement in this area, has exposure to new technologies outside of school, and is also someone who has led other students to new approaches to old problems, and is given this year to Robert Mirasan. Good evening. My name is Phil Santamaro. I'm one of the assistant heads here at Crestwood Preparatory College. Tonight's awards have recognized a large number of individuals for their academic talents, hard work, and dedication, and I'd like to congratulate them. All the winners should be proud of their accomplishments this evening. Keep working to the best of your abilities and be willing to assist your classmates when you see they need some support. I'd also like to thank and congratulate all those who have supported the students along their way in the pursuit of excellence. To the parents, grandparents, siblings, and friends who supported and encouraged the success we see in the classroom, I'd like to say a big thank you. I'd like to thank all the teachers for their continued support of the students in the classroom with extra help, co-curricular activities, and in events like tonight. They make a huge difference in the lives of the students and their families. I look forward to next year when we're able to return to a normal ceremony where we can take pictures to remember this evening and enjoy some wine and refreshments at the end of the night. But tonight, just want to say thank you for watching and have a good evening.